Okay, so we're going to work on the paragraph styles with this uh, tutorial. So as you can see, I've already inputted my type uh, through this left column, and I have not put the drinks in yet, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, you'll notice that um, on my right side of my screen, I already have paragraph styles and the character styles windows, because I know I'm going to need them based on this tutorial. If you have not pulled them up or you can't find them, you're going to go up to the top of your screen, go to ob uh, object, no, sorry, window, and then go down to styles and choose paragraph styles and character styles. Uh, you'll use character styles later on. So paragraph styles are, are the primary thing here to make sure you have up. Uh, so what you're going to do is uh, create your, what you want your menu to look like. So the desserts is your headline. Headlines are always the biggest things on the page. Um, so you're going to go ahead and highlight desserts. Choose a font that you want. For our purposes, I'm going to leave mine as Arial, but you can definitely choose something more unique and original. Um, and then choose the sizing. Okay. And just to make it more dominant, I'm going to go ahead and make it big for these purposes. Uh, I also think I'm going to center it. Okay. Now, what I want is when I input drinks on the right side, for desserts and drinks to look the same. So I'm going to make it a paragraph style. And as you can see here on the right side, it's already saved as heading one. So uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and while I'm clicked into desserts, I'm going to right click or control click if you're on a Mac and say uh, redefine style of heading one. And when I do that, it's going to set it so now if I were to say I want this to be, this word down here to be heading one, if I click on it, you'll see that it jumps up bigger. So uh, the next step is going to be to do the uh, next, the intro type or whatever else. Um, you can go ahead and highlight it and then go ahead and set it um, maybe smaller italicize it, uh, maybe it's a different font, Okay, uh, and um, you can center it if you want, you can left align it, however you want it to look. Uh, you can space it out a little bit so it's a little bit more spaced out, it doesn't matter. Once you've done that, you want that to be your normal type style. So you can control click, and redefine your style again. And again, you can see that you've done it right because look at this, all of my type that was defined as normal has adjusted to that setting. Okay, so now I want bread puddings to be a subhead. I want it to stand out because that's a category. So I'm going to increase my size. I might make it bold. I might want it more spaced out from each other. I'm pretty happy with that setting. So I'm going to make a new paragraph style. So I'm going to highlight my type and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on that little new button, that square by the trash can, and you'll see that it pops up paragraph style one. I want to define that as subhead or something else that's super identifiable for my purposes. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to highlight cakes and cupcakes and make it subhead, cheesecakes and make it subhead, and so on down the line. And you'll know it works because as I click on them, right, the type changes. And you'll see, I'm clicking on them really quickly. If you double click, it will highlight the whole line. Um, okay, then I want my uh, descriptions of the subheads to be different. Maybe I want them a little bit bigger. Uh, and I'm going to leave them as an aerial, but make it regular so that they don't look like my little intro paragraph description. But they're separate. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm going to make new description, okay? And I'm going to go through and I'm going to highlight the description part. Okay. Oops, I missed one. Ice creams. Description. Okay, so clearly defined now. 
Um, now, once I'm done, I can go back, okay, I go back to my black arrow key and I click outside of my text box. Now, obviously, I'm done here uh, defining my styles, but maybe I decided I want to add more color, change a font, I don't like the sizing or the spacing of something. So once I'm clicked out of everything, all I have to do is go to my paragraph style menu and adjust things and it will adjust everything at one time. So if I decided that I wanted my subheads more spaced out, I would double click on that paragraph style and it opens up the option window. If I slide it over and I make sure my preview is turned on, what you'll find is that you can go into your basic character formats or any of these other things and I can change my letting and it will space out my overall menu, anything that I've defined as that paragraph style. If I decided that I wanted to change a font, uh, I can so I push OK when I'm done. If I decided that I really wanted my description font to be a different font, I would double click on description, go in here, uh, I could change it to italic, maybe I wanted it smaller, maybe I wanted it lettered more closely. Um, and I would push OK. So these are the types of things I can adjust all at once rather than going through and highlighting each individual thing. Uh, sometimes color is a popular option. Now one catch with color is if I wanted to add let's say the subheads in color. If I click on that, double click, and I go down to character color, you'll find that the only character options that are set in here are your swatches. And these swatches are generic RGB and CMYK colors. You don't really want to use them for your menu. So what I would do instead is I'd go out here, clicked out of everything, and I would double click. You can double click up at top or double click down at the bottom. And you would find a color that you wanted. Let's say I wanted uh, pinkish color. I'd push OK. I'd hit my arrow key up at the top and I'd call it a new swatch. By labeling it a new swatch, which just popped up here by clicking on that little button, right? I was able to then go into my subhead, go to character color, and find that color. And as you can see, it switches everything at once. Now, a common mistake I see is that people stay selected inside the text box. Uh, if you are in the text box and you change something, okay, you'll see that on your paragraph style a little plus sign shows up. This means that you have messed with your type but have not messed with your paragraph style. So what happens is, is now cobblers obviously doesn't affect all the ice creams or all the other subheads and you can see that they don't all match and the thing about a menu is that you want all of your categories and all, all of the stuff to look the same so that's why that you should set it at the beginning and then click outside and adjust if you do something like this and you need to fix it you highlight it go back to your paragraph style control click and clear overrides and it's gonna set it back if you adjust it and you really want italic and you want everything to be italic and you made a mistake you can right click on subhead and you can redefine the style or redefine to match the style that it's currently clicked on so it's going to redefine and you'll see everything redefines to match that you would then go through the same process on the right side to create the drinks menu uh, last part of the tutorial asks you to do a character style character styles work on top of paragraph styles without messing up a paragraph style um, they're used at smaller amounts, they're used to call something out specifically, but they don't mess with the indentation, the centering, the alignment, any of that type of thing. So here you're going to, uh, it asks you to adjust the chocolate. You can go to character style, you can highlight chocolate, you can change the color of it. So let's say I want all my chocolate to be blue make it bold, maybe you want it big, you know, think about what you want it to look like. You want it to look nice once you're happy with the way it looks, you'll highlight it just like you did with the paragraph styles. You'll go to character style and make new, call it chocolate, chocolate, and then you'll go through and highlight all of them and define chocolate, chocolate, and so on down the line, wherever else there's chocolate. And you'll affix this the same way. So if you click outside, black arrow key, you can go back to chocolate, double click, just like you did on the paragraph styles, and you can change 
you know, your font choice. You can change the letting of it, the sizing of it. You can change the color of it to something else that you want. And as long as you have preview on, you'll see it all change.